does a series of protein assays on small beads which are being interrogated here on this microscope stage. So you see a, a little fluid stream coming in and going out and that's ultimately recorded over here on the computer screen. So th this is our research grade model that that we do our homework and we develop the different kinds of tests on. But with a, a local company called LabNow, we're miniaturizing everything that you see in front of you here into a little unit that's about half the half the size of a toaster. Uh, this is a silicon microchip. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, manufactured with uh, lithograph lithography, and it's uh, it has an array of wells. Uh, each well hosts uh, a single bead, and each bead is sensitized to a different analyte. Mm -hmm. uh, and when we say analyze, we're talking about biomarkers that are indicative of risk or di of diagnostic utility with respect to cardiac disease, uh, always using saliva as the diagnostic fluid. And what I, was, I would like to show you is uh, some representative results conducted using our device, uh, again using saliva as a diagnostic fluid. Uh, what you see here on your left is a result uh, achieved from the saliva of a heart attack victim where the two enzymes released from the heart during a heart attack are shown to be elevated. Shown here on your right is a typical result seen from a healthy control where no heart attack has occurred. So, so this is, is the first generation uh, CD4 HIV immune infection test that LabNow is now taking into Africa. And this particular chip we had worked on at UT a couple of years back, it's now being commercialized by LabNow. And our group is working on a series of tests that, that are companion tests and move past the CD4 HIV immune infection. So in Africa, it, it's this particular test that's the missing link. In the States, it's, it's cardiac heart disease and it's cancer that are more important and cause more deaths. And, and those are the priorities that we're working on now within the lab set.